Cheryl B with another video on meals under ten dollars. Um, today we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. I have box lunches that I have got from the school system. Um, you know, it's hard for a lot of people right now. A lot of people are losing their income, and I just want to put it out there. If you need help, it's okay to ask for help. And today I'm just gonna be bumping up these lunches so they're not so boring. I actually have a special bonus at the end of the clip to show you Chef Fly. She's gonna come with a good recipe for, um, we're gonna make stuff out of things that we've gotten out of this box lunch today. So stay tuned and this is gonna be a good video. Okay, so we're gonna see what the contents on the inside of this bag are. I wanna thank every volunteer that came and gave out food. Um, and I just wanna let everybody know again we know that these meals are for people who are really hungry. They don't really have too much food. And, you know, neither do I. But that doesn't mean that I have to, like, just eat it the way it is. If I want to add a little spice to the um, to the meal for my kids and for me to actually enjoy it, then I feel like I should be able to do that. So, so far we have two apples, a muffin, a juice, a sandwich, and some celery sticks in a mayo packet. In a separate bag, we were also given some vegetables. We were given squash, zucchini, some potatoes, some sweet potatoes, and some onions. So today I'm actually gonna be using the bag of potatoes and onions that I got, and I'm gonna save the squash and the sweet potatoes and the zucchini for tomorrow. Okay, so I have the oil in my pan. I went on ahead and drained our potatoes and I just turned the eye off, but I just let the steam go ahead and try to dry them off a little bit better. And I'm gonna take our diced onions. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning salt, just a little bit. And I love buying these McCormick Grill. Um, they have a whole bunch of seasoning flavors. This is one of my favorite seasoning because it comes with a lot of black pepper, red pepper, it has salt in it already. Um, but this Montreal steak season, and then just some minced garlic out of the can. You gotta use what you got in the cupboard. So, I got my onions in there. I'm gonna take these potatoes, add them right in. And I'm gonna just keep stirring these around until they're tender. So I have our potatoes and onions and our seasoning here. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And after it gets just a tad bit of brown color, I'm gonna pop it in the oven to finish off. That way they can get nice and crispy and we can have them with our sandwiches. So here are our sandwiches. They're nice and hot and gooey. The cheese is nice and melty. And only thing we did to this was add a fried egg. That's like 23 cents for um, out of a dozen. So those are the eggs. And these are just the potatoes and the onions that were given to us. All we did was add the seasoning that we already had in our cupboard and a little bit of oil. And it stretched this meal out just that much more. That way you can have the flavor. You don't have to skip and, and feel like you're eating a, a jailhouse meal. Because that almost feel like um, what it tastes like when I'm eating it. I mean, unfortunately, they I, I appreciate all the help that has, was given to me for, you know, even providing me with this meal. But it's also up to me to just add a little bit more. Not only for me, for the kids. That way they can have a good experience eating as well. For like 69 cents, you can buy green onions. Um, I'm, I just cut them up and then add it on top for garnish. And actually, after you're done with the green onions, you don't have to throw away the stems, keep them. 
add a little water and then you will be able to grow more green onions for you to use for later. So what's up y'all? I wanna introduce my homegirl, Chef Fly. Hi. She's gonna be making... We're gonna make sweet potato apple muffins. Perfect snack for the kids. And this actually came, some of the stuff came in our meal and I'm just using stuff that I have in my cabinet. Got I flour, you for sugar, oil, out. we all have that stuff. We're gonna bake these muffins. The kids are gonna love them. Let's do it. Okay, so here are all of our ingredients for our cinnamon sweet potato apple muffins. There's two cups of all purpose flour in here. And also in with the flour is three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, all in here with the two cups of flour. And then over here, there is half a cup of granulated white sugar and half a cup of light brown sugar. Then we also have some nutmeg. We're gonna use, with, really with the spices, you can use how much you want, but if you want measurements for the nutmeg, you would use probably about, maybe less than half a teaspoon and about one whole teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then we also have half a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil. And this is stuff you probably already have laying around in the pantry. And here is some yogurt. This is three quarters of a cup or actually two thirds of a cup of yogurt. Or you can use applesauce if you don't want to use yogurt. The same amount, two thirds of a cup. And two eggs. And then here we have a medium sweet potato shredded. You can use a cheese grater and just run it through there. And about three small apples that have been shredded. And that's it, that's all your ingredients. And a little dash of vanilla. And a little bit of apple juice just to thin it out a little. And then we stir. And then you just go to you get like a glaze-like consistency. And that looks pretty good. And there you have it. Now we're going to add our oil to the yogurt. And mix that around a little. Incorporate it a little bit, and then we're going to add our eggs. And also vanilla. And then we incorporate that, mix that all up together. Okay, first we add our flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt mixture to the bowl. And then we add both of our brown sugar and white sugar. And then we add our seasonings, which is cinnamon. And again, you can kind of eyeball it, use how much you like. I like a lot of cinnamon, so I go a little bit heavy on it. And then light on the nutmeg, that just, makes the cinnamon flavor kind of pop a little bit. And then we mix all these dry ingredients together. Get them incorporated really well. Now we're gonna add our wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Make sure you get it all. and then incorporate it all together. Get 
let it mix them pretty well. It's gonna be a thick batter. Usually whenever you make muffins, the batter is always slightly thicker than cupcake batter. And now we're gonna fold in our sweet potatoes and apples. Sweet potatoes and shredded apples. And if you have raisins, you can add raisins if you want. Add some nuts if you have like some walnuts or pecans. And just fold that in. You could even probably add like a mashed up, mashed up banana if you have a banana sitting on the counter. First, I'm going to spray a little bit of cooking spray on the top, just in case the batter falls over and it doesn't stick too bad. And then I have a measuring cup that I'm also going to spray to help the batter come out of it. muffins look like after about 15 minutes in the oven at 350 so we're just going to stick a toothpick in the center and if it comes out clean good to go here we have our professional taste tester what's your name can you tell me where you're going so i got to all right tell me what you think of your muffin you got to peel the paper off It's wonderful. It's so wonderful. It's like having cornbread, but you put vanilla on it. Mm. Without the corn inside.